everyone. Today I'm going to read a scene to you from Havoc and Happiness. And in this moment, Michaela has just learned something pretty big about herself and she's feeling a little um, adrift. So she runs outside and she's really happy that someone follows her. I don't hear her approach, but I feel her hand on my shoulder. I don't quite make out what she says, but I know it's comforting. Are you okay or something? I spin and I don't know why. I don't know where the words come from, but there are tears in my voice as I whisper, please, Ness, kiss me. Her hands come up, maybe on instinct, and touch my waist. I'm not sure which of us leans in, but her lips are on mine, startled but firm, and I can't lose my breath when it's disappearing in this hungry kiss. Everything else is muddy and soft, but her lips and mine and the shrinking space between them are in sharp focus. I've kissed girls before, and boys too, but I've never felt anything like this. This fire, this spark, this sudden and overwhelming warmth. There's a bite to her kisses now, her hands on the small of my back and mine in her hair. Oh God, I feel like I'm falling, like my skin is burning gold and red, and every kiss in my life has been leading up to this and there is nothing to be afraid of, never, ever again. She breaks away, shuddering and gasping, and I see my skin alive with rosy, glowing warmth, and tendrils of light slip off her skin like mist falling from a moving ship. She's gasping for breath, but I've found mine somehow in that crushing, confusing, kaleidoscopic moment. And I'm glad it was Ness who came out to find me, because I was so messed up in that moment, I would probably have kissed Mason too, just to anchor myself. Hell, I might have kissed Father Mateo, but I'm glad it was her. I'm so, so glad.